Rise and shine. It's Sunday. A brand new Daily Tech update is heading your way. But don't touch that screen. A listener question is coming up. Not too many years ago, a new iPhone or Apple device had customers lined up at the front door, waiting for the store to open. But recently, Apple hype seemed to melt away into background noise. That is, until yesterday. I'm Kim Commando for ExpressVPN. Protect your online privacy like it's your baggage at the airport. Get an extra three months free at expressvpn.com slash Kim. Yesterday, there were lines again. Apple stores worldwide greeted customers at the doors for the debut of the iPhone 16, the new Apple Watch Series 10, and the AirPods 4. So what brought them back? I don't think I'm far out on a limb when I tell you it was AI. Well, at least the promise of AI. Within the next month, without having to buy anything else, powerful AI features will begin appearing on these phones. And if the AI had been already there, we would have seen stampedes. Look, I know we all love ChatGPT. Apple users, though, are ready for their own AI. And somewhere, Steve Jobs is smiling. There's still time for you to enter to win a brand new iPhone 16 at winfromkim.com. Hey. Have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at getthecurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's getthecurrent.com. Sign up now. Getthecurrent.com. All right, let's open up that commando mail vault and see what questions you've got for me. Uh, David in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hi there, David. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm fantastic. I I love the new format of your e-newsletter. It's it's so much easier to read and uh, and the quiz thing. Oh, good. The trivia at the top. Love that. Thank you. Yeah, I have to. I have to say, I do scroll to the bottom to see the answer before (laughs) I go on and read. But hey, nonetheless. I, I, I enjoy it. But anyways, I am calling you today, believe it or not, from the Ohio Funeral Directors Convention. And we're here exhibiting just by coincidence on the same day I'm calling you. But um, my question is, we market uh, shipping services to funeral directors. So we're in the business. If somebody dies away from home, okay. uh, we help that person get back for a ceremony. And so um, we're looking for the right service to use about uh, an email service that's not going to get caught up and spam filters as much as others. You know, we've used constant contact in the past, and I've looked at my spam filters, and I do see constant contact in there a number of times. I know they're one of the leaders, but is, is there one that's more effective in staying out of um, a prospective client's spam filter? You know, that's a tough question, especially now, because Google, Yahoo, all the mail providers are totally clamping down on spam, right? Uh, and I know this firsthand because you mentioned our newsletter. You know, we're sending that out to over 500,000 people every day. Yeah. And it has to remain under a certain percentage, which is like 0.0003% or something like that. Uh, it, or else Google's just going to just block your sender from the get go. Yeah, blacklist you. And so you'll, and then once you get on that list, buddy, you are gone. You are gone. Yeah. I mean, for sure. And so that's why if you're going to be doing any type of email marketing, you want to set up separate domains for that. Okay. So you're not going to be using your primary web address to do that. Okay. If you notice the newsletter is not sent from commando.com, it's sent from the current newsletter.com. Okay. Uh, For our salespeople, we have alternative domains that they use so that this way, in case somebody does hit their pitches going out, that it doesn't hurt our domain authority. Now, are you buying these lists or are these people that you're collecting, say, at these conventions? Uh, no, these are these are off our client lists. Okay, we so, just have thousands of them. So, okay. I mean, we're not as big as Kim Commando, but, hey, you know, we have a lot of people to mail to. And, you know, just as your point, I don't want to get put on a blacklist, so we can't yeah, do so, it in the future. But, you so, know, so, so if you're doing your own... to go through a third party? Well, if you're, if you're doing your own... Uh, let's just talk about the, the web address first, okay? If you're doing your own email services and and even if you set it up as maybe you're going to be using something different uh is that you want to hold you want to think about this as a holistic campaign okay not just you know how do i get my my email through to my client but is it going to be sent from your servers what is the domain where is it coming from so to speak uh there are also services you can use like one's called instantly and they will also send out your email again to keep your domain pure 
Uh, anytime you're looking at constant contact, MailChimp, whoever it may be, is that you know the, the benefits is they make it super easy, right? In order for you to get your message out uh, with templates and you know maintaining the list and good things like that. But it all comes back to making sure that your customer does not hit that spam button because once they hit that spam button, you know that's where we talk about blacklist. So that's why right. you want to start doing things. And if you really look at my newsletter, that's where you start seeing things. And you may be wondering like, wow, this is really great. She wants us to rate the newsletter. Okay. Do you know why I want you to rate the newsletter? No. Okay. I want you to rate it so that this way you tell us how we're doing. But when you rate the newsletter, you're interacting with my content. And when you interact with my content, that tells, your inter that tells the internet providers and big tech that you like what you're getting. And so it's less likely to go into the spam folder. Okay. So, yeah, for sure. So for sure. If, if you ever notice in the email, I'll say, can you reply to this email? Just say hello, right. whatever it may and be. I, and I did, as a matter of fact. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank <laughs> so, you. Good for you. <laughs> and so, again, so you're, you're interacting with the content. So it's playing with the, the big tech algorithm so that this way your mail can get through. So does that help you good out? Stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you very much. You betcha. Well, you know what? I've never spoken to a funeral director before. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty harmless. Pretty harmless. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for your call today, Dave. And I hope you get a lot of sales at the convention. Hats off to you for listening. Now, if you have a tech question that has you stumped, I've got your back. Zip over to commando.com and tap that email Kim link. Your notes, I read them all like they're just the tech gospel. And you can get TechSmart every single day with my free newsletter. It's up for grabs over at GetKim.com. That's GetKim.com.